All right, those low temperatures, Mr. Clay Styles, is that good for hunting? It's very good. It means the deer are going to be moving, hopefully. It's a juvenile weekend. We're going to get to take our kids out and go ah, hunting. So, Wyatt's going to be able to hunt. Coach Drake with us also this morning, East Limestone Basketball. How are you? How are you? How are you? I do. Yes, I think everybody knows Dennis Black. That's right. <laughs> All right. I was just talking to Matthew, and we were like, Matthew, are you a hunter? He says, no. He says something about getting out of a nice warm bed when it's you know, cold out and sitting there for hours. I think I'll just skip it. So what is it about hunting that you guys just really love? It's being outdoors. Being outdoors, getting away. We need that every now and again. <laughs> Walk out in the parking lot, true. All right. Now, you said that Clay took you out on a hunt. He did. How was that? It was great. We went uh, to my brother-in-law's place up in Minor Hill, and uh, it was actually my first turkey kill. And um, we set up on a bird, and it come across the field there, and Clay did a good job and called him right in. And you called him in? Yes. Yes, it's a... Uh, you I'm call a, a turkey? Pretty good at it. I'm a perfectionist. Uh, no, uh, it was uh, it was actually a, it was kind of weird. I, uh, we spooked the birds right at first. They saw us, and so I told them I told everybody to get down. And I had a turkey fan, and I held it up, and I got behind it. It's kind of weird. You're but, acting uh, like a turkey. Yeah, I was acting like a turkey, <laughs> and they saw us, saw me from way off, and I was holding the turkey fan and waving it back and forth, and. How'd that go? Uh, not good. too good. <laughs> pretty good. <laughs> but uh, no, it went pretty good, and we got it all on video. But uh, I can't find that video. To that be happens with you. a lot. You got to label those things. We That's do right. have some photos. I do want to show those again. Let's show Coach Drake's um, turkey that he got. So this was your very first turkey, and that just kind of started it for you. So now you're hooked. Yes, ma'am. Definitely hooked. It's oh. addictive. I bet. I bet. So is this. Turkey okay. breast. Now, what did you do to get this ready? So, I saw a photo <clears throat> where you soaked it in um, buttermilk. I soaked it in buttermilk and I made my batter up. It's uh, flour, cornmeal. It's not much different from the batter that I made oh, with uh, for the frog legs, but uh, crumbled up some Ritz crackers and did some uh, garlic salt uh, and uh, pepper and threw it in there and, and uh, gonna fry it up. Now, do you have you clean the turkeys and everything too? Yes. Started, that's the first one that the first one that I cleaned there. It, it, it took me a little while, but <laughs> uh, Clay Clay kind of taught and walked me through it, and uh, I How got it done. How gross was it? It's not gross at all. It's not bad. No. They stink. A deer is much worse. Because I remember Jamie always talks about chicken <clears throat> when you have to pluck the feathers and everything, and how gross that was. So, of course, he's not an outdoorsman at all. Right. But. <laughs> so I guess Maybe we can good. take him out and take him hunting one day. No, you, we ain't. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, tried to get him out. Good luck. <laughs> just drive down my road, you'll hit one. <laughs> <laughs> we did get a deer that way. All right, well, while you're frying that up, we're going to go over to Jamie. He has the storytellers with him, of course, as well as yeah, Rick about, Mold. I'm about to tell a true story about my visit <laughs> Sunday, guy. I know you're from West Virginia, Bill. I 